Today I want to show you an easy way to do one of the harder things in hydroponic farming. How to manage your nutrients so we can grow high quality produce very fast. I'll be going over the spreadsheet that we use to manage the nutrients and also the system that we've came up with, the process to mix our batch of fertilizer and so we get it right every time. So before we can make any edits to our fertilizer recipe, we need to know what's going on in our water. We get our water sampled at A&L Great Lakes. So here it is, that spreadsheet we use to manage our fertilizer recipe. And you can download this for absolutely free. There's a link in the description. The first step is to copy and paste the entire thing and make sure that we have the correct date in the green box. The next step is to delete our old lab results and enter in our new ones. This has to be done manually as far as I know. And I've put conditional formatting in this column to turn the cells yellow that are out of range. This gives a good visual on which one we need to change. So let's address our high phosphorus. So I'm gonna adjust monopotassium phosphate and I'm never gonna go more than the max percentage change. It's easy to overreact. So I lowered that from 14 to 13.9% and you can see over here in the green box, it automatically changed. And I'll just quickly run through the rest of these, changing all the percentages, double checking all the yellow cells, making sure everything looks good. And every now and then I'll scroll up to see what we've done in the past. And when we're done editing the percentages in the orange box, the bottom cell here must equal 100%. Another feature this spreadsheet has is we can change the number here in the purple box, which is our total weight in pounds for our fertilizer mix, and it automatically changes over here in the green box. All right, so I think we're all done now. We're gonna select the green box, hit Control-P, and we're gonna print it out. Now we got what we wanted from our spreadsheet. We got our recipe printed out, so let's go mix it. And here we are at our little work cell where we mix fertilizer. I'm just taking it slow, taking it easy, being careful, making sure we get this right. This is very important. You see I have the printout right in front of me, and as I dump the fertilizer in these barrels, I'm checking them off as I go so I don't miss anything, and so I don't double anything. And always remember to wear gloves while you're doing this and wear a respirator when you're dealing with the iron. Here's the finished product, the blue barrel and the red barrel. Feed the plants right and they'll treat you right. So we got it done. We got them all checked off. I think the check boxes are really important. It's a easy and simple way to avoid disaster. Once again, you can download that spreadsheet in the description, and on that spreadsheet, there's some information on how to contact me, and if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps someone.